Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing the festive Christmas book tag. So as always, I will link the creator's tag down below and there are eight questions, so let's just get started. Question one, a fictional family you would love to spend Christmas dinner with? And I'm going with the addicted fam. Um, I think it'd be really fun, but also super emotional because they never do anything simple and easy. I feel like every time that they want to have like a simple thing, it just turns into something big and there's like a scandal or a controversy that happens. But I think it would be really, really fun to spend Christmas with them and have a Christmas meal. Question to a bookish item you would love to receive as a gift. I don't really like bookish things. You know, I don't collect bookmarks that often unless I win them in a giveaway. I don't really collect posters unless I win them in a giveaway. Um, I mean, I do kind of collect Funko Pops, but there's not really any more that I want on my shelf. So yeah, I thought maybe a book sleeve, um, but I don't really bring books with me anywhere. So but a couple of books I would love to receive as a gift is book two and three in the Fixed trilogy by Lorlin Page, Found in You and Forever in You. I have the first book and I want to finish the trilogy. <laughs> um, I love that trilogy so much. So I would love to get book two and book three in a physical copy. And another book, maybe Filthy Gods by R. Scarlet, I think. Yeah, I'd love to get that book too. Um, I think that book is super, super short, so I don't justify buying it for myself, but if somebody else bought it for me, <laughs> that'd be great. Three, a fictional character you think would make a perfect Christmas elf. I'm going with Tink from Wicked by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I think he'd make a great Christmas elf. That's pretty self-explanatory, <laughs> like honestly. If you've read that book, like you, I feel like we can just picture that. For match a book to its perfect Christmas song, I feel like this one was kind of difficult for me, but all I want for Christmas is you. And Real by Katie Evans. Does that go? Kind of? I don't know. Five, Bah Humbug. A book or fictional character you've been disappointed in and that should be put on the naughty list. I'm going with a book, and that is Getting Schooled by Emma Chase. This I was so excited for, and I had such high hopes for, and I ended up giving it like a three stars. It's not a bad book, but it just was not up to like my high expectations, and yeah, I was kind of disappointed in it. And this is about like two teachers who fall in love, and it was just, I don't know, wasn't my favorite by her, so. Six. A book or fictional character you think deserves more love and appreciation and deserve to be put on the nice list. I'm going with a book and that is Jock Rowe by Sarah Nye. This is one of my favorite books of the year. I think more people should read this if you love new adult or sports romances. I highly, highly recommend this book. It's so cute and adorable and just so good. I loved it so, so, so much. It follows this goody two-shoes who is going to this party and she's the kind of friend that doesn't let guys hook up with her friends and she's always kind of like in the way and so the baseball team basically plans for one guy to distract her so that um, all of the guys can hook up with her friends and yeah the two characters fall in love and it's super cute and adorable and I just loved it so much. Number seven, red, gold, and green. A book cover that has a wonderfully Christmassy feel to it. I'm going with Frostfire by Amanda Hawking. I realized on my bookshelf I don't have a lot of like Christmassy books so this one was kind of the only one that I have that reminds me of Christmas. I don't know, it's super pretty. I love, 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 love this cover and the spine. And the last question, eight. A book or series you love so much you want everyone to find under their Christmas tree this year so they can read it and love it too. I only have two books in the series, book two and book three, but that is the Winston Brothers series by Penny Reed. I feel like everybody should read this because they're so 
good and well developed and just a really great series. It follows a big family of brothers who each find love and each book is so 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 different yet has the same feel to them. I just really love um, these books and I hope to eventually collect the entire series in physical copy but for now I have Grin and Beard It which is book two and Beard Science which is book three and these two are definitely my favorite in the series so far but yeah I hope to collect the rest because they're just so great and I love the series so much and I highly highly recommend it. It is just so great. They are obviously big books so they are kind of time consuming but I think they're well worth it in the end. I love these. Oh yeah and I totally forgot to share my Christmas earrings. They're just little candy canes. I think they're so adorable. I love holiday themed earrings. I just think they're adorable. So that is it for my festive Christmas book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know some of your answers to these questions down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!